hey, hey, just checking out this refractometer reading. You guys want to take a look? Bam. What are you looking at? You're actually looking at the weight or the specific gravity of fluids. You can see battery, glycol, different coolant, stuff like that. Super important. And that's important when it comes to oils because we're talking about viscosity, Len. Viscosity is an important piece of oil technology. I'll tell you what, let's have a little bit of a race, man. What do you got right there? Uh, well, I've got an SAE 60 racing oil. All right. And I'll use the actual zero W16. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna lose, but we'll explain that in a minute. Yeah, you might lose, but let's take a look at it. So this is the thick one and this is the thin one. According to that viscosity rating, let's see if that's actually true. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these balls in and we're gonna watch them go down. So in three, two, one, boop, there they go. Man, look at the difference. That one went down in no time. Len, you lost. Why is that? Well, I lost because that 60 weight is a, is a thicker oil. It is a thicker oil, and our chart actually showed you that perfectly. The high viscosity, the slower the flow. Lower viscosity, faster the flow. Even more important, starts to mess with temperature. This is huge because you've got the 20W50 on the top and the 0W30 on the bottom end, but there's a huge range difference in between there. Why is that? What's temperature have to do with it? Well, as you can see, you know, for starters, it should be noted that uh, engine oil, that second number, the one that indicates the viscosity, is taken at 212 degrees F. That's an industry standard. It's also generally the operating temperature of the oil in your car. But as you start to look at those lower numbers, your 20W, your 15Ws, your 10s, that indicates how the oil moves at low temperature. The higher that number, the slower it's going to move. So a 20W50 is not going to move well at low temperature. Uh, reverse that, a 0W30, say, is going to move very well at low temperatures. Why is that important? because of the technology that we're dealing with on some of these new vehicles. And that's even room temperature. I mean, you can hear it here. That one kind of sloshes around. Not as much. Pretty Correct. thick. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Vehicles are sophisticated today, and your oil has to be. You know you got systems like displacement on demand, variable valve timing. you got time and chains that are driven by oil. Use the manufacturer-specified viscosity rating. If you're not sure which oil to use, no worries. Just go to amsoil.com. The viscosity and quantity, they'll tell you everything and they'll give you the best oil for your vehicle.